When we think of LED lights, we've sort of been trained to think of them as a small little unit that you put on top of a, uh, a camera or a stash in your hand, or maybe an array of individual little lights that's sort of in a box together. Well, Aerie has gone the next step, the next generation, and by doing so, what they've done is gone back to a more traditional light form that we're all used to, getting a kind of light that we like to work with. So this is the L7. There's a, a series of three different models of L7 lights. There's the L7T, which is tungsten balance, L7D, daylight balance, and this is the L7C, which is color controllable. So the first and most important thing to show you, oh, I'm just gonna, it has a full range dimmer, and as I take that down to nothing, you will see right here, this is a Fresnel lens. So you actually have the traditional control of a lens light. Now behind that is a group of LEDs in a small array and a little cluster that then they are, have a lensing that goes on, a little light engine they call it, so that they have control of the, the look of the, what comes out of those LEDs. But when I bring this up, you will see you have first and foremost with the Fresnel lens, I can adjust from 15 to 50 degree angle beam spread. And in doing so, I also have my barn doors to get a nice, sharp, clean cut. It's again, what you would expect out of a regular uh, Fresnel light, whether it's uh, tungsten or daylight, but now it's an LED source. With that control, I also have some more control because this is, not, this is the color controllable one, the L7C. That means I can get all the way down to 2,700 degrees and all the way up to 10,000 degrees Kelvin. So much further beyond the 32 to uh, 5,600 degrees of tungsten and daylight. I have a range beyond that. But wait, there's more. I also have, in, very importantly for matching to other light sources, which have a lot of mixture and they're, sometimes they're not full uh, color range, uh, this has an excellent color range, but to match to these other light sources, I have a control of green magenta shift. So magenta is a lack of green. I can actually shift my balance to match out to other light sources very accurately. So this is a light that can really intermix with pretty much any light source you want. In addition, there's also certain theatrical effects that are available. So I can go into the hue mode and in hue mode, I now have a saturation control. And so you can see I'm a very blue light right now and I can really go from a white source all the way into a deep blue. And then I can go to pretty much any color of the rainbow that I might want. And this is in the hue mode on the light. So you really have an enormous range and ability with this light. It, acts, it does lots of different things for you at a pretty reasonable cost as well. Now it is AC powered at only 220 watts, yet gives you the equivalent of a thousand watts of light. So the output of a tungsten light at a thousand watt or a baby uh, uh, Fresnel would be the equivalent lumens, equivalent brightness coming from this light at only 220 watts. So over time that will save you a lot of heat. There's you know, no really very little heat coming off this. I would burn my hand if I touched a tungsten light. And there's very little power draw, and it's a very efficient light source. It's gonna last you for 30,000 hours or whatever it might be with a LED light source. And this is an upgradable source. So there's full DMX input output here, but as well there's a USB port because there will be firmware upgrades to the light to be able to do other functions in the future. And with just eight screws, you can actually dismantle and pull out the entire light engine replace it with a new one. So if you use up those 30,000 hours of power of uh, function on the light, you actually could replace it and keep this going and going. There are, it's a very versatile, well thought out light from Aerie, the L7C series, L7C, there's also the L7T and the L7D and they're available to you from Able City.